In this video, I'm going to show you how to actually use the elliptical marquee tool. Because honestly, if you don't use this trick, it is a pretty useless tool. Now, what is the elliptical marquee tool? You will find it right here below the uh, rectangular marquee tool. And it is this one right here. And it has got two options. So you can either select from center or select not from center, let's say. So if I have not selected from center here in the context toolbar, I would basically have to estimate how to get around my planet Earth. So I would would hover my mouse somewhere around here click and drag and just try to get a perfect shape of my planet earth now of course uh, this is very hard to estimate and you can see that i actually missed it um, a little trick that you might want to know or that you might already know is by holding shift you you remain the uh, circular aspect ratio let's say and another little trick which makes it already a bit more useful this tool is if you still hold your mouse and you hold space bar you can actually move the complete selection around so this already makes it quite a bit easier to make a nice selection of let's say our planet earth now then we have got from center and this basically does what it says you have to estimate where the center is of your circular object and click and drag to the outside and now um, yeah same thing if i hold shift i will remain the circular aspect ratio and now i can also hold shift and move this thing around to get my perfect selection however there's one little thing once I release my mouse button, I cannot change this selection anymore. The only thing what I can still do is I can move it around as you can see. But if I use, let's say my move tool or whatever, I cannot stretch it or reshape it anymore. And that is where this trick comes in, which is quick mask mode. Now, what is quick mask mode? Quick mask mode basically gives you a nice preview or a nice overview of what you have actually selected. There are two ways to enter quick mask mode. So you can either enter it by pressing Q on the keyboard and it gives you this red overview, or you can go here to this uh, little button right here at the top and just click this one and then you can toggle quick mask mode from here. Now, as mentioned, quick mask mode shows you a nice overview of what is selected and what is not selected. So everything that is red in this case is not selected and everything that is normal color is selected. And you can see that if I select my move tool right now, you can see that I get this bounding box. And you can also see that I get these handles. And with these handles, I can actually stretch and reshape the form, let's say, or the shape of my um, circle. So I can make no I now make a nicer selection and I don't have to be yeah, just guessing. I can really zoom in and really dial this down and just try to make the most perfect selection possible. And you want to obviously make sure that you're staying inside of the shape. So if I go too far out, um, yeah, you'll see this in my mask, let's say. Some, somewhere around here would usefully look fine to me. Now, you can see that I hit that here um, I'm a little bit outside of the shape and that is because this planet Earth isn't a perfect round shape let's say it is a little bit oval now how to address this within quick mask mode we can actually use other tools as well to fine-tune our selection so I'm gonna go to my toolbox and I want to go to mesh warp tool and if you cannot find it you can just go to view you can go to customize tools and then it is right here and you can just click and drag it onto your um, toolbar let's say but mine is right here so let's click it and now I can actually use these tools as well to reshape and resize my selection so let's actually drag this one in a little bit so we get the perfect 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 selection right there as well so let's maybe drag this one out just ever so slightly and here it is a bit of a, a bit black so maybe we want to drag this in just a little bit so that we don't have all of this blackness um, on the right side or out of the shadow I see it on the right side and I'm very happy with my selection right now so what I would do right now is hit apply and now I have applied my mesh warp let's say now if you want to change the overlay what you can do is just go here to the top hit this little arrow icon and now it is shown as a uh, show mask as overlay but you can also show it as black obviously this doesn't make sense because our background was already black you can show it as white so you can actually see what our selection is going to look like on a white background or you can mark it as transparent well for me actually the most clear usually is to mark it as 
an overlay which is this red overlay and if you want to leave quick mask mode you can simply press q on the keyboard hit your mask icon press command d to deselect and yeah now i have my planet earth masked out now you want to make sure that your mask is clipped to your uh, object so to do that you can click and drag it to the right um, right here and now if i move it around you can see that i have got a very very nice cut out of this planet earth and if you want to have some fun with another round object then i created this tutorial in which i'm going to show you a nice and easy photo manipulation on how to make an orange transparent see you there cheers